What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, we are back with the 2023 MDT Full WWE Action Figure Room Tour. All right, guys, so we are finally back with the full WWE Action Figure Room Tour. And today, man, we're going to be detailing all of these shelves. We're going to detail the entire room in its entirety. I think I've said entirety, it's, you know, enough times now. But today, man, we are back. I'm excited. We've added a ton since the last room tour. I, I want to say we didn't do it last year. I could be wrong about that. But we're going to break down everything in this room, and we're going to go through every single figure. I'm going to break down, you know, what represents what, you know, tell you all the different details about it, go through all the figures showcase some of these drawers in detail and just try to get into the meat and potatoes of the mdt action figure room so with that being said man i'm gonna go outside of this door and i'm gonna walk in and then we will go through everything one by one all right guys so if we start from outside the door you'll see the ethernet cable coming in through there i should have bought a little bit longer one didn't do that so now i have to live with the the consequences also working on getting a sign right here for the door because i think it would touch up the joint but anyway going in here you open up the door and we have entered into the mdt figure room got the game chair there but let's shut the door and this is our first thing here this is my mattel wwe elite poster make your collection elite very cool poster i think this released uh, i can't even remember the year man i want to say it was like 2018 maybe something like that obviously these figures are out of date now maybe some super rare ones on there i'm not sure but 12 days of fandom that was from a couple years ago i think and then i kept this sticky note because i thought it was cool that somebody over at mattel you know knew my name knew the channel name and they wrote it down on a sticky note and they put it into the box that i think i want to say it had this poster and it had like the collector's edition pete dunn maybe it had elite 63 shelton i think i can't remember exactly what was in the package but it was very cool and i always thought that was a little cool little uh, easter egg note right there so i just held on to it for whatever reason just stuck it up there but i do believe they have released a new version of it so i need to get my hands on that coming to the right a little bit we do have my 2017 fantasy football championship i won it in 2016 as well never got a championship belt for that one and i'm playing in the super bowl currently this year doesn't look too good justin jefferson you let me down brad but we come to the right a little bit on this closet we do have my john cena autograph it's just a simple john cena auto nothing too special there and then here on the door this is my light ring like zip up carrying case or whatever the hell you want to call it i just hang it here because i literally have zero place to put it i would go in here i don't know i may show you a little bit of details of the closet but there's so much extra bs in here and i don't know if i want to get into it that's probably its own video to be honest with you nonetheless coming down here we also have some aew packages this is all just like chases pretty much because i want to hold on to the stickers there someday i'm going to get all these stickers off and keep them. Haven't done that yet, but that, that's what we're dealing with right there. On this wall specifically, we have my on-display AEW action figures. Down here on the bottom, we do have sort of my tag team shelf, you know, Santana and Ortiz, Lucha Bros, Jurassic Express, you know, just some of the different tag teams that we've gotten from AEW and Jazz Wares. This right here is only AEW, so like this front-facing wall right here and down is all AEW. The rest of the wall, however, is WWE, which we'll get into up there and, you know, break everything down. But the next shelf is kind of just your, like, su like single superstar I know we have Jungle Boy in there, but we have, you know, just some regular superstars. I haven't updated this in a minute, so Mox still has the championship right there. But yeah, just some single superstars coming all the way through. If we move up a shelf, you know, some more single superstars. Christian, Orange Cassidy, got the Supreme Malachi Black in there, Kip Sabian, Wardlow. And then here at the end, we do have Jim Ross, Tony Schiavone, and Aubrey Edwards. Moving on up, I don't think I have a loose version of Excalibur just yet, but we have the Supreme Kenny, and then we have a whole bunch of Cody Rhodes. So you got the Chase, one of 3,000 Unmatched Series 4, Cody and then you have four different Supremes. I think that's, or maybe it's three different Supremes. It's one regular Supreme Series one, and then you have two Walmart exclusives there, but then you have the rest of the unrivaled Cody's coming up here. And then on the top shelf, we have my boy Kenny Omega up there. So this is all just Kenny Omega's you also have the uh, MDT Pick Fed Custom Hell's Gate Defining Moment style figure right there. But you have the Series 1, the 1B, you know, a couple customs, fix-ups, different torso swaps and stuff. And then there at the end is the Shop AEW exclusive, just a loose version. I am just holding this up. Hopefully you guys can see, but anyways. All right, I'm standing in my chair now, so now I can see it a bit better. But if we move up, you guys will just see some loose ultimates, some loose elites, just some miscellaneous figures. Some guys are grouped together. Hurricane, you got the Custom Hell's Gate Johnny Gargano right there. We have the Kurt Hawkins, the 
regular edition and the chase. You got Keith Lee, all his figures. You got the ultimate doink. You got ultimate diesel up here. Just some random figures. Some are rare. Some aren't. Just kind of, just again, a miscellaneous array of different elites and stuff up here. Move up here. Same thing. Just some different mi miscellaneous elites. Yeah, two visceras. I, I should be just hit in the face for that alone, but you got build a figure JJ Dillon. You got, you know, Cassius Ono. Just again, random figures. And then at the end, we have three Velveteen Dreams. Again, I put these up here a while back. Some of these are newly added. Some of them are not, but, you know, they're just up here. So, again, this is just sort of a miscellaneous elite shelf. And then we just have some mock AEW figures that you'll see. So, you know, Jungle Boy, Luchasaurus. It's just some random commons up here at the top. So, yeah, those are just regular common figures to uh, just kind of get them off of the, you know, off the extra shelf over there, which we'll get into. But, yeah, just some random mock AEW action figures. I think what we'll do is we'll work from there, and then we'll just kind of work our all the way around like this. I think that's the best way to do it. So, and I apologize for the extra lamps on. The reason I have those lamps on is because I had to add some extra lighting or you wouldn't be able to see a damn thing. So from the AEW shelf, if you go over here, this is just a random box of random fodder and stuff and then some extra stuff. Got my Ring Giants John Cena right there. But then you have this black table, which was here way before the arena was here. If you guys are long viewers of the channel or been around for a while, you guys know that this arena table was custom built, I think last year or a year ago, year and a half ago or something and this right here was not here so I could walk around this entire area and I used to be able to get to this table but since we built this this little tiny crevice right here prevents me from getting over there but if you go up under the table you have right here what is known as the thinking outside the box box a bunch of elite fodder and stuff it's just a basically a massive box full of elite WWE action figure fodder mostly just bodies connected to certain items so you're not going to find loose arms and stuff but it's mostly mostly bodies connected to things and then right here we have a bunch of mock elites you got a bunch of mock John Cena's for the future and then just a bunch of figures I haven't unboxed yet. Back there you have some extreme set stuff and then you have my real scale elimination chamber right here in a box. And then back there is like MDT pick fed stage stuff. Alright so now that we've done that we can move into all these individual shelves with all these freaking figures. So you guys are probably wondering how I get from this area over to that table and showcase all these or if I need a figure from over there. This is what honestly upsets me. To get one of them Romans up there I have to pull this chair over here step up in said chair. So standing in the chair then I have to squeeze between these two things get on that table and then I'm able to grab figures and stuff like that. So it sucks. It, 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 it's the long story short it sucks. Alright so what I've done is I'm just going to move some stuff around and I'm just going to showcase this entire side first and then we'll move to the middle wall then we'll move to the right wall. I feel like that's the best way to do it. Alright guys so starting out on this bottom shelf we do have the unrivaled Matt Hardy and from there you're going to see a bunch of Matt Hardy elites. This is just different ones. You may see if you see any repeats of any figure throughout the entire video. The reason being will be for fix-ups, for customs, for future things that I'm working on, and some of these have been up here for years and I still haven't done anything with them, which, you know, different life priorities and things like that. It's just things that I grabbed at the time just for future case, but there is all of the Matt Hardys, you know, you got all of you, you got Team Extreme back there and then kind of into V1 and then on into a more modern day Hardy. Moving up, we have my Brocks, which Brock was the leader this year, man. You have the Elite 99 Brock here, you have the Ultimate 15 Brock, which was of beauty elite 96 still waiting on my amazon three pack but we have the first ultimate you know all these different elites some different fix-ups and custom street gear brock and then we go back into the stings which i am missing a few stings i'll be honest with you there great american bash sting i've used a couple times for customs i think i'm missing i, I want to say i'm missing a couple stings here or or something like that that's not all the stings i have from AEW. i have the rest but they are in the closet because there was no room for them if we move up from there we have the trash corbin spot i do not have his modern figure i think his modern figures in the drawer over there then you go into shinsuke nakamura with all his different elites you got his ultimate up there a customer too and then you got samoan joseph and don't ask me why you need nine samoa joes or ten or whatever the hell it is man it's just it, it kind of accumulated you know over the years i'm sure i could easily you know move some of those but you know they're here you got the samoan joe all the different colors next up we have our macho men's shelf which is is definitely missing some man we're missing a lot of machos but you have the ringside two pack the target exclusive ultimate i got two versions there one for each shirt you got the crowdfunder or the crowdfund saver macho at the front there and then you have different machos i'm definitely missing a whole bunch. I think I'm missing like seven or eight different macho elites. And then we do have the Drew McIntyre section. Lots of Drew McIntyre's, lots of re-releases, top talents, different elites, 
all the way back to his first version. And I do have his first Elite in Elite 8, but I think it was broken down for parts or something like that. Moving on up, you're probably wondering why this Amazon Jericho is right here. And the reason it's right there is because I wanted to keep him close to AEW because his section is over here that's hard to reach. So I wanted a Jericho at easy reachable distance. So I did put him in front of Punk here, but you do have a couple unrivaled Punks. We also have some different superstars on our roster shelves, which are over here. But we have Elite 16, a couple of those, and then just some different Punks, All-Stars Punk, Ringside Exclusive. Then we have two different LJNs, or three different, I guess you could say. And then we do have an armband that I did catch at a real WWE event. Went to SmackDown Live, and I was in the second row, I think. And I caught John Cena's armband that he wore at the event. So I thought that was awesome, being a massive Cena fan, favorite of all time. And then we have this custom can here from my man, Brad. It's basically a luminary, so when you uh, put a light inside there, it, it lights up John Cena's face, which is amazing. Moving up from there, we do have our Sergeant Slaughter section. You know, Mr. T's, I am missing a few Slaughters in there, obviously, but you got the Mr. T's, Mark Henry's that used to fall down and hurt my feelings and knock over my entire shelf back in the day. And then we have our Goldberg selection right here. Lots and lots of Goldbergs. And then at the top, we do have the Ultimate Warrior definitely missing some warriors here but we do have quite a few there all the different colors and stuff look really good up next to each other but then you have gold dust and then in the back you do have some our truth figures so all mine are lined up i don't know they're all pretty vanilla posed which obviously if i had some more room i would like to pose them around but also at the end of the video man let me know down in the comment section below what your favorite row or favorite shelf was or favorite part of the collection is but now we're moving on to my personal favorite part of the collection which is going to be the john cena section which has caused me lots of heartache but also it is it is definitely my favorite Anyways, let's shut the hell up. And getting into it, man, starting out the beginning, you do have the debut John Cena, and then, you know, you just have pretty much a timeline. So some of these figures are quote-unquote defining moments of his career and different looks that I wanted to replicate in figure form. And some of them are missing their championships, but you have lots of custom Cenas up here, lots of time and energy and money put into the John Cenas. You got the Ultimate Edition there, but lots of hats and armbands and shirts and looks that we have not yet gotten from Mattel. But uh, slowly working on it. If you guys see rings side collectible stands on some of them first of all they're clear because you can't see them wink wink but those are the scenes that typically will plummet because of these bum ankle joints that they continue to give us they will plummet off the shelf and they will lose their hats and stuff like that so this is what this one was doing these three caused me a, a hell of a lot of pain man they always fall i've tried multiple things to fix them and they continue to fall I have to fix them back up but so that's the plan is you know you have debut scene and then it works up years 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 and then it comes down a row and then you have all your different looks for Cena here. So this John Cena right here is supposed to be posed with the Money in the Bank, so that's his Money in the Bank win. You have his Royal Rumble win, then you have all his different shirts here, Rise Above Cancer attires, all the different stuff going through, another Rise Above Cancer attire, you know, champions here, obviously he's supposed to have the US title right there, just, I took down the championships to, to clean up and stuff like that, so they're all in the drawer. You have the MDT champion, John Cena, from his time in the pick fit where he was the champion. I'm thinking about making that shirt and selling it on a pro wrestling tee store, the champ is here with the MDT championship on there from his time as champion of the pick fed. Then you have his work from South Paul Regional Wrestling, and then you have just some gimmick stuff here. This is John Triton from the Marine, Ghostbusters Elite, and then uh, Fast Five. So while John Cena is my all-time favorite, we do have our Randy Orton section right here. He is my second all-time favorite, so I do have all of these different defining moments and different trunks colors going through and stuff like that different fix-ups and stuff have a headless one there these are a bunch of torso swaps on some older randy ortons and his bled over so he does go down onto the the bret hearts and stuff you see batista right there as well couldn't fit all of them here so you know we'll have to wait until we get one big detox shelf or something one day where we can have all of our different randy orton figures just all up in there in their trunks and championships and stuff like that so this is what we got right now but if we go underneath you will have daniel bryan's his brian danielson figures on the AEW show and then you get into Mox slash Dean Ambrose. So you have different Dean Ambrose and John Moxley figures. Trying my best to get them. That was almost horrific. You guys see right there, Macho Man fell. I lean back. <laughs> Dude, if I would have went through this arena, that would have been the funniest thing I've ever seen on film, but I'm glad I didn't. Sweet Jesus. All right. Again, getting into Dean Ambrose, you have all the Dean Ambroses and, you know, different Moxleys and stuff like that. I'm trying my best to get the lighting, but then you go into Sami Zayn. Then you have some Bret Hart's, and then you do feed into Batista and Randy Orton because I ran out of spots on their shelves. I'll, I'll go under this shelf in just a moment. After that, you got Mustafa Ali going into Ricochet, into Alistair slash Malachi Black. So you guys can see all the different Malachi now. Alistair Black's going into Ciampa, and then into Bobby Fish, Kyle O'Reilly, Roderick Strong, and then into Adam Cole 
who goes all the way down. And, yeah, all, all Adam Coles there. So lots of Adam Coles and Undisputed Era all keeping them together here. Going on down, we have my boy KO, one of my favorite wrestlers again. Lots of KOs, different shirts, fix-ups, different stuff we haven't seen from Mattel. Back when they were single-jointed arm, now obviously they're all double-jointed. It would be nice to go back and get some classic KOs in these. Some of these are from the pick fed, so you got some pink and black there from the pick fed. And then you do have the Royal Rumble KO down here. You got the Hell's Gate KO. All with blood and stuff like that, you know, keeping it, you know, in the defining moments right there. They'll obviously go down in the history books, but you got all these different KOs. And then if we go to this bottom shelf down here, you will see Rey Mysterio. Again, a guy that we got an absolute ton of this year, but we did get, you know, we have all the classic ones here. You got the greatest hits with the Elite 24. You got a custom all white. And then we just, again, we have like some different fix-ups and stuff like that. Again, apologize for the lighting, but I'm doing my best here trying to finagle and not fall off the table and go through the arena. So you have all the rays there. And then we have a small little Eddie Guerrero section. Hopefully we get an ultimate of this guy soon. And then we do have two custom pops of Randy Orton from my boy Rodney. I appreciate him. I guess since we're on the bottom, we'll keep it going. You got some custom Elite Jurassic Express figures and then we just kind of have some mainline guys. Honestly, I could get rid of this shelf, but I do have like some more like current day talent that, you know, is just kind of in and out of WWE. Some of them are still there, you know, different stuff, but then we have some overflow from the New Day with a couple Kofis and Xavier and a Big E. Going up from the next shelf, we do have all our Edge Elites, different fix-ups and things of that nature going all the way back got some customs the legends the summer slam elite just all different edges again again some of these superstars are missing some of their elites because they are on the roster shelves but we do have like a bunch of different edges here and then we get into the new day with xavier woods we have all our different big e's and then we flow into the Kofi's, which I have broken down a lot over the years. I'd have a lot more Kofi's if I didn't use his torso that they used to give him for different customs. So we have all the different New Day together. From the New Day, if you go up, we do have the Chris Jericho shelf. One of my favorite shelves ever. You know, we got some early 2000s Jerichos into the middle 2000s. Defining moments. Then you get into the Trunks Jerichos up into his later elites before he left. And then you pick up with his AEW Jazzwares figures. Got the Amazon exclusive, Series 6, all the different Jerichos, obviously. And then you have the 1 of 3,000 shop exclusive at the end. From there, it goes into Braun Strowman. You got all the different Brauns up till modern day, a couple fix-ups and stuff. And then you're probably wondering why the hell do you have five Cedric Alexander elites? And that's because I love Cedric Alexander. He's one of my, probably the most underrated talent in WWE. I love Cedric Alexander. I've supported him a lot through the indies. And when he got an elite, I had to grab a bunch because I knew he probably wouldn't get a, another elite. And we haven't gotten one since. So I grabbed a bunch of those and I obviously opened all of them because I, I, I want to make customs and fix ups and stuff so i did open all those moving up we do have the worst elite ever made shield kurt angle and then we do have you know some different kurt angle elites and fix ups there would love to get an ultimate of kurt angle as well we have all the different miz elites and then uh, we are missing a few there but then we work back into john morrison into the big show which we're missing some of as well and then at the back of this shelf we do have some razor slash scots which we're obviously missing some as well can't wait for the ultimate edition coming this year but we're definitely missing some superstars and some elites from dif different guys but but, you know, we're working on that. And then we go above that, and we do have our Batista section, a beautiful section. A lot of customs. I mean, you're, you're getting into some different customs and different things we haven't gotten from Mattel. Four different Batistas, and we're getting the re-release in the Greatest Hits line. So, probably the time to move these. But, again, I started out getting them to make his different looks from, you know, wearing the Jordan 30s and stuff, but never got around to it. Elite 72 Batista. We got the Ultimate. Got three of those. Love that figure. One of my favorite Mattels, I think, ever made. So, we do have the Ultimate Batista. And then we get into into the Shawn Michaels. I remember the last time I made this video, I said, we need more long pants Shawn Michaels, and my God, did Mattel deliver. They gave us three different ones this year, and they were amazing. You got the WrestleMania 26, the SummerSlam, and the WrestleMania 24, and, you know, Ghostbusters. Then you have Roddy Piper at the end there, but I was very excited for all of the different Shawns that we got this year, and uh, I was a big fan of the two Ultimates we got, and you guys saw those other Shawns over there. They couldn't fit here. I have other Shawns too, but they, they don't fit here, so what do you do? Well, you move up. We have the Usos looking pretty good here. Their red elites are on on the roster shelves and then we have their current figures on the current roster shelf but we do have some flashback usos different usos i've ordered over the years to make customs then we get into the stone cold steve austin shelf lots of ultimates i have many versions of the ultimate a lot of elites 
different vests, different shirts, different looks here with the pants, long pants, the jorts, Stunning Steve back there. Really great shelf. I'd like to make a full detail for this guy and just go crazy with accessories and stuff. I think it would be really fun, but you have all the different Austin Elites as well as, you know, obviously way more than we've gotten from Mattel, but customs, fix-ups, things of that nature. And then at the top, we do have the Roman Reigns Elite. So you start off with his NXT look, and then it just goes all the way through with Shield, his different vest colors when he broke off, and then you go all the way down to current day with the Bloodline and stuff, and longtime members of the channel will know that I put him in, like, the Joggers and the Bloodline get up in the pick fed, like, years before WWE did it, but, but we have lots of custom Romans and fix-up Romans and, you know, different, like, drip Romans kind of up there, but, you know, the Roman Reigns shelf... Well, it's mainly dark at the end here. You do lighten it up there with, like, the red and white there. It looks good. So once you hop down from there and you cover all that, we did just cover all of those different elites and sections right there. You will come into the middle part of the room, and I guess I can cover this top shelf real quick before getting into the arena, but you just have some different figures on here. You know, the ringside exclusive punk. A lot of these figures here are just extras. So you're going to see a lot of extra AEW figures and just different stuff that do not fit on the wall right now. We do have our mid-on-card Excalibur there in the ringside Defender. And this Shop AEW MJF 1 of 3000 is actually supposed to be my loose copy. I haven't opened it yet, but you have the LJ and Darby, and then you do have the Mafex Spider-Man, which is a figure I love. And you got Sammy Guevara back there. And then here's a bunch of extra retros that I don't have room for in the closet. And then we have some Masters of the Universe figures and Superstars figures over there as well, men on card that I don't have any room for yet in the closet or anywhere else. So they're just chilling on this shelf right now. So this is something you guys have seen a lot of. It is the MDT Arena or the MDT Pick Fed Arena. This is where we used to do all the pick feds and stuff like that. Haven't released one in over a year, I think, which is sickening. Something I definitely plan on doing more of in 2023 and getting it back on track. But we did completely revamp the crowd. I know I covered this the other day, but we do have, you know, some extra depth added to the crowd. And this crowd background was actually made by my boy Wrestleistic on Instagram. I'll leave a link down in the description below. He also has a YouTube channel, but he did a great job on this crowd background for me. Added some pink highlights and stuff. You guys could even see there. It has My Damn Toys Live or MDT Live on the background there. And it does match the ring here which I've had for a long time. I think it was like My Damn Halls episode 7 or 8 that we got those ring skirts. So we've, we've gone a long way here, but I use the Wrestling Superstore ring for the pick fed. I, I've not seen a more accurate ring. I know some people will give you different details and stuff, but it's my personal favorite ring. But a huge shout out to Wrestleistic for the crowd background, and uh, he did a fantastic job for me. He made me a few different versions. Over here, we do have the commentary table. You have me and my brother Brad that looks just like us both, so it's kind of crazy, but I'm in the pink suit. He's kind of... I need to get him a different body. This is just, you know, the, the Bray Wyatt head sculpt's what we use for his base, and then we never made him a body, but MDT Live Mike and announce table to go with the thing. You got the timekeeper's area over here, and yeah, it's looking pretty good. I, I like the arena. I'm excited to film in here, so we're, we're ready to get that going. Before we go down into the drawers, we do have some different championship titles, all adult replicas, no commemorative or anything like that. These are all official. So right here, we do have my WWE Spinner Championship autograph by Jeff Hardy. I met him back in 2017. 17, I think it was. I can't remember, but he was super nice. Got him to autograph that. We have my Finn Balor Red Universal Championship with the Finn Balor side plates. And then we do have my World Heavyweight Championship, actually autographed by Edge. If you guys can see there, it is autographed by Edge. So I have an Edge autographed World Heavyweight Championship. And then we do have an old WWF Championship that kind of bothers me because it does have the Scratch logo. I'd like to get one of those made, but they are all adult replica, metal-plated replica championship belts. I think they kind of complete the look. I, I like the way they hang up there right there. I wish it was cleaner, but outside of that, moving down, we do have our new drawers and stuff that are underneath the arena. Took me a very long time to set up, but... I guess I can quickly run through these. I think we went over this the other day, so I'm not going to spend a ton of time on it. But this one up here is just like tools and fake blood stuff for the Fed. You got the trusty knife in there, which is, you know, always a crowd favorite. Watch my damn halls for context. Middle drawer is all of my paint brushes. You got some paint brushes in here and then some like sealant and you know uh, you got some decal, you know, paper stuff and then you got uh, some markers and things of that nature. And then on the bottom, you have all of my paints which is such a helpful thing. Like this is just, my, this is game changing right here. Getting these tubs was game changing so I'm so excited that we got this in here. Got all my paints there. Moving on to the next drawer we do have like different ring ropes, skirts, things for the arena to switch out to Vindication which is the blue brand. We we have the announce tables and then a little like kickoff sort of panel table back there with the MDT logo on it. But you have Vindication and another MDT live announce table in there. And on the bottom, you just have some random equipment, a table ladder, uh, a random alligator in here. You know how it is. So, you know, just some random things in there. Things that didn't have a place really 
In this drawer, we have all of my John Cena stuff. So this is every elite John Cena or ultimate. This whole box is full of like 10 ultimate John Cena's or something like that. But this is all my elite and ultimate John Cena's with accessories. So we have like championship belts that go on display in this bag. And then we do have uh, hats and interchangeable heads and things of that nature in this bag. And then I have a whole nother bag of John Cena stuff that I'll show in a minute. But honestly, it should go in this drawer, I guess. But there is our John Cena drawer. Love that drawer. In the middle, you have all the flashback elites that I don't have any room for on the shelf. So, you know, any flashback figures or figures that don't really have anything to do with the last five years or so, they go in here. And then on the bottom, we have more current day guys or guys that have been in WWE in the last five to six years or, or something like that. Aiden English, you know, Buddy Murphy. You know, you got your Cameron Grimes over here. Happy Corbin or Trash Corbin from Elite 99. So, yeah, there, there's that drawer. Moving to this tub, we do have the women's drawer. This is every AEW or WWE women's figure that is not A, in the crowd or B, on the women's shelf over there so that's where these go and then in the middle here we have basic figures in my collection that do not have limbs or they're missing some part of them besides the head so you know this is missing arms and a head some of these are missing boots things of that nature and then on the bottom we do have my basic figures that are only missing a head sculpt so any basic figure that I have that is missing a head goes in here only heads only heads missing in here and obviously if you're a full reputable basic you go in the crowd which is what all these are and most of them are random concoctions of figures that way they don't look like the person they're trying to portray and they have random shirts on so that's what i do for the crowd right there it really creates the illusion like look at that shot look at that shot right there coming over here you do have the white trusty hair dryer here in this top drawer i can't open it all the way but you have many accessories you have wait let me find that john cena like aew figure okay here's my other john cena bag just a bag full of John Cena hats, arms, heads, just different things for future customs and, and fix up John Cena. So, you know, we're slowly building that, but all kinds of accessories, interchangeable stuff, AEW accessories, all that stuff is in this right here. And if I need to get in there, I could, you know, move it around or get it out. Opening this, this is all interchangeable hands. So we have all my interchangeable hands in here and some extra Seth Rollins stuff. They're all with the, you know, this is like white tape hands. You got black tape hands back there. You got gloved hands over there. You know, Know, all the any other hands you know they go in these bags right here so yeah we, we've taken care of that and in the bottom here it's getting blocked by that you know that power strip but you have random weapons and accessories like couches storage units nothing like weapons those are in the closet but this is where i put like big accessories if we come up from there you will enter into the vindication gm's office and this office has been destroyed for a while if you guys want some context to this you can watch the you know the mdt pick fed there but i think the next episode of the pick fed will be mdt live and then after that it is Vindication, and it's the Go Home and Vindication show, so we'll probably see this office then, but yeah, I did set it all up, and I, I think it completes the illusion. I think it looks good. Get the spinny chair, all that stuff. Over here, this is just the MDT filming area, so you know, when we typically film videos, we'll sit the camera right here, and I'll do reviews. You know, we'll do top tens. We'll do different things here in the backstage area. So that's all this is here, and then we still have my Christmas stuff over here. I don't know where the hell I'm gonna put this Christmas stuff, but there's my Santa Claus figure here. I think this is a Big Bad Toy Store exclusive, so that's a pretty sweet figure. I like that figure there and then this is my phone that i use for thumbnails this phone takes better photos than my current phone so i use this for thumbnails for my videos i don't know why it doesn't do well but that's what it is back there you have some extra weapons and accessories and stuff from the old setup and then back here we do have a bunch of vehicles so you got you know slambulance different vehicles bikes all that then there's the new generana entrance stage and uh, we have the big wrecking Thing there. One thing I think I'm going to do is put a light unit back here or some sort of lighting fixture and that way it can like hang over and aim into the arena to help with lighting in the arena. I think that's what I'm going to do there. We'll have to see. And then if we come down this way, all these lamps and stuff are filming. We do have some extra Romans that don't fit on his shelf so I just didn't have a spot for them so I put them there. And then we do have some Kenny Omega figures here that didn't fit. And then we have three of my favorite figures in the collection. You have an elite George Washington, an elite Abe Lincoln, and an elite Teddy Roosevelt. Look at that George Washington head sculpt bro nailed it bw animations made those and then before we get into this massive wall of elites and things on the wall over there i do want to get into this right here so on top of my computer i do have the custom mdt elite with the alley katniss memorial battle royal trophy custom made trophy for my cat which was the best cat of all time so i replaced the, the andre statue with a like a small toy of a cat and then i painted it gold to make the alley katniss memorial battle trophy we have my wife's figure that looks just like her we have some mdt 
cards. Then we have my YouTube gear from GCW. So I got my YouTube attire. We have the MDT Battle Royal Championship that needs to be defended soon. We got some custom head sculpts down here. You got Dan Housen, Jeff Hardy, custom face paint, Seth Rollins, and then Vin Diesel for whatever reason. We have my 100,000 subscriber YouTube plaque down here. So it's presented to My Damn Toys passing 100K. Shout out to you guys for that. Really greatly appreciate you guys there. Thankful every day for that plaque. When I first started YouTube, this was the main goal. And then when I accomplished that, it was just, you know, all about making fantastic content for you guys and getting better and spreading the passion of WWE action figures and just action figures in general. So we have my computer set up there. And then back here, we have all of the different figures from fan mail. So if you guys send me like little bitty figures or something like that, I put them up here. Uh, I got some, a couple Finn Balor pops. And then we do have a Hulk Hogan up there that got stabbed through the chesticle. And then we have my custom Seth Rollins Punisher gear pop vinyl figure. But yeah, this is a bunch of mini figures sent from MDT fans. And I put that on the zebra shelf. I just thought it was fitting. So I love that shelf. And then low-key, one of my favorite figures ever, my favorite video game series ever is Hitman. So I do have this Play Arts Hitman figure. And those pistols did not come with the figure. Or, well, I think they did. They did. The silver ballers did come with it. But I made custom silencers to put on them. So I took like some plastic and I like dremeled it down and put holes in it. And I made custom silencers for the, for the silver ballers. So that's actually a project I did like seven years ago. But I love that figure. Very poseable. Very cool. I love Hitman. So I put him there. But before we get into the big AEW wall and the roster shelves and things up here, we do have to get into this massive wall of figures over here. All right, guys, so starting out on the top left, we do have the AJ Styles shelf. A lot of these are repeats and different things. I'm so excited for the Ultimate Edition, man, because it's going to make these figures look like dog crap, and this is why I never really liked to fix up custom AJ Styles and stuff, because I always felt like the torso was terrible. So I never fixed him up, but we do have this one. This is my favorite AJ Styles ever. It's the MDT sold-out AJ Styles and the Carolina Blue, Silver, White, and Black. This figure right here is fantastic. When I get an Ultimate Edition AJ, I'm going to replicate this attire for the Ultimate Edition. That is definitely something that I'm going to try and do, but, you know, they, they just always give him that trash torso and it always piss me off, but going down under him, we do have Triple H, so you do have some different Triple H's, some custom head sculpts and things like that, but, you know, we got some mid-2000s Triple H's, all different colors and stuff, custom defining moments, Triple H with different head sculpt, then you got some different two-pack heads and different, you know, attires for Triple H, so going all the way back to Hunter Hearst Helmsley, but those are really cool, and then you go down, we pick it back up, and then you get into COO Triple H, and then, you know, more modern-day Triple H, or, you know, getting more into the modern-day Triple H's, and they go, you know, all the way back up. Then we have Suited H with the long beard, and then you have the new Legends that I haven't fit in, and I didn't have any other place for these guys, so I figured we could put them all here. I need to just put Billy Gunn here. He's over there on the other shelf, but I probably just need to stick him right here beside X-Pac. That way, you know, they can all be together, but there's all the Triple H's and the AJ Styles. Moving down, we do have the Rock figures, so a bunch of Rock figures going down, you know, again, all of them are pretty much in timeline order. Some, some are a bit out of order but for the most part are these different shelves for all these respective guys are in chronological order you know in timeline order there's the ultimate edition with a t-shirt and jogging pants so i put him in there and then you know you work up all the way to modern day and i guess before getting into dolph ziggler we'll run it back and pick back up down here where we do have our seth rollins so there's all our seth rollins from nxt into the shield into his singles run so you got different moments from when he had the the money in the bank and then winning the championship elite 45 rollins one of my favorite figures ever so i have a bunch of fix-ups of that one. Got a Slammy Award winner when he came back in 2016 and then we work up to SummerSlam. Some different fix-ups and customs in there as well. You got WrestleMania up until SummerSlam back to the Royal Rumble. Again, now we're kind of in the Dolph Ziggler territory, so we'll run it back to the bottom shelf where we have one of my favorite guys, and that is Finn Balor. So we have a bunch of Finn Balors here. Some of those are like New Japan Finn Balor. You got the Bane, Indies Finn Balor. These are all his looks that are not demon. So these are all non-demon fins. You got some with double jointed arm fix-ups and stuff. When that top talents figure came out back in like 2017 2018 i bought a bunch of them just simply to make all these different gears for finn so we were making the red gear the navy gear green royal blue elimination chamber then i got some customs from my man rodney in the pink up to elite 74 fix-ups different fins in the jacket I apologize for the angle. I'm doing my best here, so please bear with me here, but trying to get through here for you guys. So it goes into the jackets, and then you get more of, like, updated modern fin here, and then it goes into his demon looks, which we can get into in just a moment. I probably need to step on the ground for those, so we'll go to the top here for Dolph Ziggler, and I'm a big Dolph guy. You guys will notice here on the wall, I have the Stealing the Show plaque. Got the 79 out of 500 is when he cashed in on Alberto Del Rio. It is autographed, and then it's got, you know, the pink trim and the blue and black. So you do have the Stealing the 
the show plaque, which I love, and then we do have the stealing the show little surfboard I got when I went on a cruise back in 2017. I showed a picture of the thing to the guy, and he said, yeah, sure. And then we got My Damn Nation holding over my head for a show that I must get out in 2023. So this is the little sign that you hang in the crowd. And then I have a ring-worn hoodie from Dolph Ziggler. That's him wearing the, the hoodie there. And then he did autograph it. It is the Hollywood Crew heel, and it is from... Hell in a Cell 2015 ring worn hoodie. Then I got the lanyard and then I have some more MDT cards here. But we do have all the Ziggler figures here. A lot of customs, a lot of defining moments like Cena. Some different looks that we have never gotten from Mattel. These are all customs. Got customs from Showstopper, custom figs. Uh, some other guys and stuff like that, some different fix-ups all the way up. And then we do have my custom MDT Dolph Ziggler from my man Rodney in the shirt. And then the zebra print on the right is from BEW and Venomine Figs. Longtime friend of the channel, way back in the OG days. So if anybody remembers those days, uh, you're, you're a real OG. The Dolph Ziggler shelf is really nice. We even have the promo gear right here from my man Mad Reaper. Really great customizer. Then going down to the middle, we have the Seths again. They pick back up. We got different attires, different customs fix-ups all the different jazz there's the doc hendrick set and you know just different custom elites and different looks for them and then down here is kind of like some just fantasy gears that i made up just kind of mixed matching parts from different seth rollins figures and then here at the end we have some customs that's my buzz lightyear seth rollins that a lot of people enjoyed at hell's gate you got the punisher rollins then we have a sort of like fantasy gear i came up with that my man burnout ink chase maybe very cool there then we have a ton of the elite 86 in the pink gear had to get a lot of those and we'll get into the rest of the seth rollins when we get there but uh, first of all let's go down here let's get these demons and then we'll work into the right side of the shelves so down here you do have all of your Finn Balor elites in the demon form you know Jack the Ripper you got the NXT takeover fan you know network spotlight towards the rest exclusive you got some different demons got four different ultimate editions right there for you know futures got some wild ideas for that one and then we have a whole bunch of custom demons ones that you probably won't see anywhere else or or not commonly but you got NXT takeover the end you got some different looks from him there some made by me some made by some other customizers that are leaving my head now but then we go into some independent Finn Balor's or Prince Devitt's there from Showstopper Custom Figs you got the Joker Anti-Venom Venom some custom made ones by me down at the end and then we do have like a promo gear Finn right there and then from Finn Balor you have all these Finn Balor's working down and then you get into a current roster sort of shelf and I keep that by the filming area right here so they're easier to get to so you know I don't have to climb over eight things to get to them so I have more of your current Current roster here so anybody that's on the current roster or that you know is around these days i put them there and then at the end i have bobby lashley just kind of stuck there so i don't know how good of a shot that was last time with the sets but there's another shot of the sets i'm on ground now so it looks a lot better but but there's the buzz seth and then going into the elite 86 then you get some more you know sets and stuff and then we're up to current day there with the elite 99 then there's my naked rollins usually he's wearing a wwe championship and all the parts make it look like he's nude you got all the the fiends the bray whites down here definitely missing some of those at least Bray Wyatt's, that is. I used to not like his figures, man. They were kind of trash. I didn't like the body mold and stuff. And then right in front of the ring-worn hoodie here with Ziggler, you do have the Undertaker section. So again, chronological order. Got the Ultimate in there, different fix-ups and, and customs again. You're going to find that a lot in the MDT collection. Just lots of different looks that Mattel hasn't given us yet. I'm not patient, you know. Just sometimes I'll just hook it up. Uh, mean Mark, he should be way back here at the beginning, but I haven't done that. But you got a bunch of different takers, and then you go into the smaller Mick Foley slash Mankind section that needs to grow for sure. Then above Undertaker, you do have Kane, so you got all the different Kanes. Still not got the new Ultimate, the, the one with the Attitude Era ring, but there's the first Ultimate, and then we have a bunch of Kanes here. I think I do have a couple that are not featured here on the shelf that are in the drawer or something like that, because I didn't have any room for them, as you guys can see. But we do have all the different Kanes, and then we work into Hulk Hogan, and you know, we got all the different Ultimates. All the new elites here going into uh you know the different tans here if they would make this tan and i know we have it coming in 2023 we're going to get a new body mold new torso new skin tone for our hulk hogan's i hope they don't have to repeat these but at the same time i don't want to have to torso swap these for this new torso and skin tone so i guess that's something that remains to be seen but we do have a lot of Hulk Hogan's here. And then probably one of my favorite shelves here, I cut the lamp off so you guys can see a little bit better here, is the Jeff Hardy section, man. I love all these Jeff Hardys. My God, they look they look great. So much like John Cena, much like all the rest, you are getting the chronological order. Again, a lot of fix-ups and customs. Probably heard me say that a million times in this video, but you get some really unique looks out of these figures when you take an Elite from Mattel and you switch the head sculpt, you know, you swap them around, do some different things. You can really create some, like, magic 
magical looking figures when you take the elites that Mattel gives us and then pop a random head sculpt on there from another figure that maybe Mattel gave us. So, you know, you got the Elite 67 Chase in here, different head sculpts. Loved the pink Elite. So I got a bunch of different random heads. Again, you're getting some wild head sculpts in here and some different customs and stuff. So there's a really cool Galaxy face paint made by BEW Animations. So some different things that, you know, I'll have my brain set on and I'll take them to BEW and he'll make them. You got a cool Chase Elite 84 Jeff with the mesh shirt. We got uh, like a clown face paint. I made the Punisher one there. I have a Willow Jeff Hardy. All these look fantastic, man. Like, such a great shelf. Probably one of my favorite shelves for sure in the collection. And then you work all the way up and you have the Ultimate Edition as well as some more custom face paints. And then we have Lita at the end there that uh, she's kind of fallen over, but... Uh Maybe I can fix that, but these leaders are cool. The reason that Lita has her own shelf is because these two, two of those leaders are custom made, so I don't want to get those damaged, but that is the full Jeff Hardy shelf. Very cool Jeff Hardy shelf, one of my favorite shelves again. All right, man, that pretty much wraps up that section right there. We're moving on to the last section of the room, and I got to get this knocked out in the next, like, nine minutes, or my camera's going to be full of storage, so I guess we can run through the roster shelves real quick. On the bottom here, we do have the MDT Live shelf, and uh, you'll have the MDT Champion right here. Great shot of the belt right there. That was made by my man Turner. Turnquist, Dan Turnquist, great looking MDT championship, but you know, you have your different champions here. Some of the belts are kind of sporadic. I should have set them up before getting started, but you know, you have some random elites on here. Maybe you didn't see these figures on their shelves or whatever, so this is where they are, but you know, you got some different stuff right there. John Cena, got the MDT money in the bank. That's the Dr. Thugonomics there. You got John Morrison, Eric Bischoff, just some, you know, diff different elites there. Another Jeff Hardy, so those go all the way through, and then we do have uh, custom RVD. So I, RVD does have his own section, but I love these figures too much to to like stick them somewhere so I have all my RBDs here. And then we work up. We do have the Vindication Shelf. You got, you know, the Monsters of Destruction there with Braun and Kane. You got Bad Luck Fale, Tomatonga, Fashion Popo, uh, Orange Cassidy, Hurricane. You guys get it. So just different roster here for Vindication. Adam Cole working all the way up. Then you have the Wyatt Cult. Then you have uh, Alistair Black and then into Luke and Rowan. And then we have this like custom Ultimate Edition Bray Wyatt that I like a lot. And then you have the champions here with the Elite Champion, Kenny Omega. And then you got Cody and the Bucks. Then I just have these random muscle figures on display. But uh, I don't think they're worth a hill of beans. Probably just need to take those down or donate them or something. Uh, then we have some different mock figures here. You got the 1B Bucks. And then we do have the Series 6 Chris Jericho down here. That's just the closest ones. But before we get into the mock AEW action figures, I do want to run through the women's shelf real quick. So you got China here. Again, just a bunch of random. Random, uh, women's figures if their current roster or they're fighting com you know their current day they will be here so you got Shotzi Dakota Kai Alexa Bliss uh, I know the champions aren't updated I apologize for that but we have all the different women's figures Elite 99 Zelina Dewdrop Scarlet you know going all the way down and then I have a little bit of my SH figure arts collection out here because I didn't move them but we do have the Majin Vegeta and the Scouter Vegeta and then a mini Vegeta sitting on the edge right there so Vegeta is my favorite DBZ character probably my favorite anime character of all time so I have him up here and I have more SH figure arts, but no place to display them, so it makes me sick. And then for our mock AEW wall, we have them all the way up to the top right there, and they, you know, they kind of like cover the whole entire wall here, but I'll get a short little run through of just some different figures. You got some Series 1. Some are random, you know, some of them are random, but we do have some chases down here. You got Britt, Nyla, Anna J. Then you have all five of the Shop AEW exclusives so far with Kenny, Chris, John Moxley, Sheeta, and MJF. Coming down here, you do have Stings. You got the one of five thousand sting one of five hundred darby uh you got series eight mox series two mjf you got the series one unmatched darby i apologize for all the glares we got brody sdcc exclusive brody unmatched for cody you got the hangman from series five you got lance archer from series seven and then down there you do have cassidy ringside exclusives jr and shivani mox and then you do have some other mock aew figures over here so you know it's just a bunch of mock aew figures there's an extra shop kenny without the sticker that they sent me so yeah just a bunch of random mock figures i sure as hell don't have every chase i'm slowly working on that and this isn't my entire collection featured in this video i have plenty in that closet over there like tons and tons of stuff there and then in my bedroom closet I have even more, so there, there's a lot going on here, man, but 2022 was an insanely blessed year, man, and I'm looking forward to 2023. One of my goals for this year is to either get a bigger office or, you know, find us a house with a basement or something like that to display everything, man, because, like, I have a bunch of Marvel Legends, I have a bunch of SH figure arts, I have a lot of things that I want to display, but I have zero room to display them, and it would really add to the entire vibe of the room and everything going on if I could actually display those, showcase those and everything, man, but I appreciate you guys for stopping by. Leave a like on the video. I 
I'd appreciate it, man. If we can reach 1,000 likes on this video, I'd greatly appreciate it. But I greatly appreciate every single one of you guys. I hope you guys have a very blessed 2023, and I hope you guys had a fantastic 2022. But until we do the room tour next year, or maybe the next time we do this, it will be in a new house or a new situation, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. Leave me your favorite part of the room down in the comments section. Let me know all your thoughts. Get this video to 1,000 likes, if you will, so we can push it out to as many people as possible. But I appreciate you guys. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. I will see you guys in the next video. All right, guys, so the first time I uploaded this video, I got copyrighted for the Broken Picture Frames You Cross the Line song for the first time ever. I don't know where the hell that came from, but that's the reason this video took so long. A, or maybe you get the muted version, I don't know, but my God, I had to replace the song with something. Pisses me off. I'll find a new song or something, I guess. I don't know what to do, but I had to replace something, so I'm just re re recording this for, for shishes and gigs just to let you know the situation, but yeah, I'll, I'll probably establish on this later on. But, yeah, pretty big bummer. Hope you enjoyed the video.